Hello everyone in YouTube land, Nintendo Fanboy 7 back here as always. Alright, we have some news here. It's from Nintendo's physical year. Uh, their physical year ended a couple days ago and their earnings report or whatever you want to call it. Business crap, sales crap, whatever. But, you know, I'm a fan. I do care about the company. So, um, uh, yeah. The other stuff is all business. Well, they are all, they're all business stuff. But one thing is really important here. And I'll talk about that first. Uh, Tatsumi Kimishima is stepping down as president on um, in June on uh, June 28th. So June 28th is effective. He's just stepping down, and he's temporary. And I didn't know he was temporary until before. <laughs> just before, I thought he was be permanent. Just at least I thought he was going to be permanent just for at least a little while. Um, and he's in his 70s, so he's a little older. And they got a replacement. His name is. I hope I'm pronouncing the names right. Well, Tatsumi Kimishima, that's right. But I hope, not, I hope I'm pronouncing his, his name right, the new guy. Shantaro Fura, Furukawa. I hope, I hope that's right. I'll post all the links in the description, and you can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't know. Um, again, Japanese names. I'm American, so give me a break. But anyways, yeah, his name is Shantaro Furukawa. Yeah, he's 56 years old. A little younger. Um, he's been in Nintendo for a little while, so something in the um, upper management. He's been working there for a while. Maybe he's planning on trying to get to that level. That's really good. Hope he's not as serious as Tatsumi Kimishima. Because I felt that he. I'm glad in that he's stepping down. I really am. And even though he was temporary, I'll give him. I'll give him a break. But at the same time, I'm just like I'm glad that he's stepping down because even though when Iwata. Uh, I'll get to this news here real quick here, but I'm glad that he's stepping down because when after you know when Iwata passed away suddenly, which is just really sad. It was just awful, you know. Can't control that type of stuff, you know. He's just health issues and stuff like that. Just awful, really bad. And when you know, Miyamoto and one other guy, I forgot his name, he, they took over uh, as acting president or something like that. They were acting that, and then Tatsumi Kimishima came in, and then something didn't feel right. Like an outsider looking in, you just felt like something wasn't right over there. You're just like, eh, I don't know. They're just kind of too serious and not the Nintendo selves, you know? I don't know, the quirky Nintendo selves. I don't know, childlike sense of humor or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, um, Switch has sold. I'm sure it's different now. But Switch has sold 17.79 million units worldwide as of March 31st, 2018. And that is great. That is awesome. Um... Show that it'll sell even more by the time, end of this year, but right now it's a little slow. It is a little slow right now. Uh, we've gotten Kirby, like Star Allies, back in what, February? Was it February or something like that? I don't know. These months are kind of flying by. I can't believe we're almost in May. But anyways, uh, yeah, Kirby, and we haven't really gotten much. It's been kind of slow, and that's where the whole disappointment thing kind of comes in into this video. I'll get to this news here really quick. Uh, Nintendo plans on... Nintendo expects Nintendo expects to ship 20 million units, Switch units, and 100 million Switch software this physical year. And I get kind of confused with the whole ship and sold, because I don't know if shipped means sold. To me, shipped doesn't mean sold. Sold means sold. Shipped means you're shipping the units to the store, and someone's actually buying them. That's sold. Shipped. I'm sure they can ship 20 million units to stores and wherever else. Um... Amazon, whatever, what have you, I don't know. I'm sure they can sell, ship them to stores. They have no problem. And I'm sure they can tell, sell 20 million units. I'm sure they'll sell close to probably 30 million units by the end of this year. If there are games coming out, you know what I mean? I'm sure they can sell at least 30 million. I don't know, maybe, maybe 25 to 30 million by the beginning of 2019. We'll see. I don't know. But I just get kind of confused with the whole shipped and sold. I don't know. But anyways, the whole disappointment thing kind of comes in. Like, there's, it's been very slow. I'm done with the news. That's all. That was. Uh, I was. That was all. Tatsumi Kimishima stepping down, and Shantaro Furukawa uh, replacing him, and then the Switch sold 17.79 million units, and whatever. So all that stuff. But I'm just very not satisfied. I'm, I don't know if it's a taste thing or whatever. I'm very disappointed. When you look at the launch of the Switch last year to now, we really haven't been getting a lot, um, and. Call that entitled, whatever. I'm not a very entitled person at all, usually. 
But at the same time, you're just like, it's just really been slow. You're just like, holy crap. Um, you got Labo, yeah, cool, whatever. I don't care about Labo personally, Kirby. And then by the time June comes along, we'll get Mario Tennis Aces. Um, and then next month, it's all ports. It's literally all ports. It's Donkey Kong, Hyrule Warriors, and then a couple of collections like Mega Man, Legacy Collection, which has never been out on a Nintendo system, which has great, which is great. It's awesome. It was on the 3DS, but now it's on Switch and whatever. And then we got Street Fighter. That's also coming in May. Um, and Captain Toad is like in July or something like that. But it's like, it's just, it's all ports through this entire year. Up until July with Captain Toad. Um, and then Luigi's Mansion on the 3DS. And, then, and, and also Captain Toad on the 3DS too. You're just like, this port shit has got to stop. This port shit has got to stop. It's freaking crazy. Like, this is not... Not cool. Like, this is not cool. And, and also, they're treating... What, bother, what also bothers me is they're treating these ports, like Donkey Kong, as new games. Like, they're pricing them as $60, and they're, and they're treating them as, like, new games. You should, you should treat them as, like, $20 games. That's what you should treat them like. Or $30, at least. Like, a budget price. Not, like, new games. I'm seeing commercials on Cartoon Network and other channels, and you're just like, yeah, Donkey Kong Country. And you're just like, game came out in 2014, okay? It's 20 fucking 18 now. These games should be $20, all right? Tropical Freeze on Wii U is twenty dollars. This should be at least thirty on Switch. That's it. Same with Hyrule Warriors. That should be thirty dollars also. That's that, that's insane. You can see why I'm annoyed. Like there's nothing out there for us that did support the Wii U. When you look back at the launch to now, you're just like it's not impressive. And that's the main thing that I wanted to get in this video. With the whole disappointment thing, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed as a Nintendo fan seeing the launch and all these games. Of course, Mario Odyssey was fun. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe with a battle mode, Splatoon. Kirby, whatever, and Breath of the Wild was eh. Arm, arms, eh. You're just like, I'm not impressed. So, I don't know what to say about that. So, comment down below on all these news things and all that stuff and whatever, and what you think about that. So, peace out. More random videos coming soon. Later. Bye.